Okay. Uh, I got a bird stuck in my lab. It flew in here and it's going to make noise. You hear it chirping. This is the coil. It's double wound. I had to go a smaller wire. If you notice, the blue one here, I've got it painted blue on both ends. If you see that. Painted blue. That is the uh, initial coil against the PVC. It's wound clockwise going away from us and it's wound clockwise coming back. But what that does, if you see, when I energize this one, the initial coil, it goes clockwise <laughs> and it'll go clockwise coming back. So they, they're, they're the same, clockwise. No matter which way that the current moves, it's clockwise, always clockwise, right? But if I energize the other one, the red one, and I painted this one blue because it makes the south, makes the magnet south, okay? Because it's clockwise. So as that goes in clockwise, the, 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 coil, the second wrap coming back is gonna be clockwise, 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 clockwise. All the way through the wraps of the coil be clockwise. Now, when I energize the other one, which is the second layer or any even number, if you will, odd numbers will always be clockwise with the, the initial one. Whatever initial winding you have, the other ones will be uh, the same. They will be the dominant direction of rotation dominates the rest of them. Now, if I energize the other wire, the red one, which I'll call north, if you look, when it came back, it was winding clockwise, right? But if I energize it this way, it's gonna go clock counterclockwise. I hope you can see that. That second top winding as it came back to me, if I energize it, it goes the other way. So it'll cause this one to energize counterclockwise. And if you have, the difference is, if you have a single coil that's clockwise from this end, you energize it through, it's clockwise. But when I turn it, it's still clockwise because it did not return. Perspective, view of perspective of direction of rotation. So a single wound coil, no matter how long it is, if it's a single winding, will be that clockwise or counterclockwise. The rotation will be the same no matter which way you turn it. I guess you get that. Going that way on this side, over to the right, and this other side is going over to the right. So no matter which way I energize this, it will be clockwise because it's a single winding. This one is different. The even numbers, the one coming back, will reverse that, if you see. Clockwise going in, clockwise coming out, if I energize the south first. But if I energize the north first, it's gonna be counterclockwise going in and counterclockwise coming back. Now, I'm gonna prove that. Here's my piece of steel. Pole finder shows nothing. Well, yeah, it does. Let me demagnetize. Demagnetized shows nothing. That still does. Let me do it better. Now it shows nothing. I'm going to get a magnet. That shows poles. This one does not, okay. It's demagnetized. So I'm gonna put the south to the right where both wires are going, you know, from the end that they're wound. And I'm going to energize the blue one, which I say is the south because it's clockwise. So I'm gonna lay that there. I guess you can see it. South, this is positive on the left, negative on the right. Let me energize couple of times. This don't spark like the other one, but it does get hot. So I had it in there like that. It was a clockwise winding all the way through. Get a south, 
and a north, okay? That makes sense. We went with the clockwise wound coil, the initial coil clockwise wound, and it was clockwise coming back. So it was a clockwise wind going that way and this way, all clockwise, all the way through the coil. Let me demagnetize. Show you there's no poles. I guess you believe me. Now, I'm gonna put the south to the same side, same side, blue to the left, red to the right. Now I'm gonna reverse the wires though. I'm gonna energize what I call the north and put the blue, what I just put as positive, will be the negative, okay? I'm gonna reverse them. And here we go on a reversal and zap, zap, zap. Coil got hot and that should have done it. Now, get my pole finder. That's gonna show a north and that's gonna show a south. You see the difference? <laughs> so every odd number, like one, one, it doesn't matter which way you energize it, it's always gonna come up that clockwise direction on a clockwise coil. Counterclockwise is the same way. One winding does it. And the depth of the winding is how many times that I go around, but the number of windings is the de determinant. The, de the denominator is which way did you wind it when you started. So since I shot it in on the, the secondary coil, the second winding, it went through counterclockwise and it came back counterclockwise. You got me? So even numbers, you can make it reverse. Odd numbers, you can't. Because if I ran a third winding down to the other end, it'd be just like a single winding. It's gonna wind up just like this one, but it'll have three windings instead of just one. So odd numbers will uh, maintain the original uh, coil winding direction even numbers you can reverse. Odd numbers you can't, even numbers you can. Secondly, or furthermore, this is a transformer primary coil, just like the one that's down in here, over here. Just like that one, this is a, a transformer primary. Got two leads coming in. If you notice, there's one here and it takes off counterclockwise and you have to remember, this coil is like our tube. It's this way. This is how many windings there are this way, but this way is the number of layers, okay? My tube is the transformer. The number of layers <laughs> is this way. The number of windings is this way. I guess you're with me. The number of windings along the, the coil is this way, and the odd or even are this way. You got me? Took me a while to figure this out. But this, the inside one, which is one of the pegs, and they're both on the same end, of course. One of the pegs starts in the center here, if you can see that, and then it winds counterclockwise, then it would be clockwise, counterclockwise, clockwise, counterclockwise, clockwise but they're always even numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten windings. So that means that no matter when the AC comes in, pushes in one counterclockwise, pushes in the other clockwise, counterclockwise, counterclockwise, it, it reverses. That's where your 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 collapse happens to make the secondary in your, your, your transformer push out. That happens 60 times a second, frequency again. And it, as this you know, winds clockwise, the, the, the magnetic field from that hits into the secondary coil, but the collapse also pushes it forward into the secondary coil. Then when the, secondary, the, the other feed comes in the other way, the AC 
Going in the other way, it's winding the opposite direction, so it shoves it up even farther because it's winding in the opposite direction. It's spinning up the ether, coming in with the second one in the opposite direction. So it just pushes it out of the way because it's got to take over. It's opposite. I was spinning this way. Here you come in spinning that way. Look, get out of the way. Here we come. Get out of the way. Here we come. And you get a south, north, south, north, south, north. That's why these are wound in even numbers. For some reason, this outer one doesn't go all the way down. It's got like two wraps from being actually all the way down to the, the end of the length wiring or windings, but that's not our uh, odd and even numbers. I think that's to give this the particular power they want so the secondary will put out the power they need for whatever application or device this was put in. It was a microwave oven. I hope you get that. Just like a transfor or transformer, just like this. This way is how many windings deep did we go for, for power, but this way is how many did we stack. You see what I mean? This way is how many deep did we go, and this way is how many numbers did we stack. Got me? Or I'm, I guess that's kind of reversed. This way is how many windings are stacked on top of each other, like our tube. This way is how many windings deep did we go into the tube. So we got like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. It's 12 deep, which this one's probably 12 deep. But this way, it's always even. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's ten, even number. That way, when the AC comes in, clockwise, counterclockwise, clockwise, counterclockwise, clockwise, counterclockwise, and your secondary has that bump each time. Uh, shut off, collapse, push from the, the, the other rotation in the other direction, pushing it out of the way. That's where you get your power, the flyback, and it coming in with the opposite direction of rotation pushes that flyback out of the way because the flyback is rotated, spun up in that clockwise direction. Then the other one comes in counterclockwise and shoves it out of the way. That's why AC goes down the wire so good and DC don't. And I'm gonna show you now some differences on frequencies, AC, rectified AC, DC, and magnets. I'm going to move on.